Alrighty, let's switch over to Miles Morales. So we are going to start out with aggression, and we are going against Sandman for these games. I have not played against Sandman. I have not played as uh, this version of Spider-Man, and so we will be doing some learning along the way. So yeah, um, we kind of went over Miles' kit when we did the unboxing, but it's a lot of finding ways to activate his special abilities and then stunning and confusing so we'll we'll learn how we're going to go through that so um he does like to flip to his alter ego fairly frequently Ooh, sorry um so we have crew quarters in there to help heal he does a recovery of four and so he can fix his health pretty quickly he does start at nine which is pretty low um chasing him down for threats Mitigation, Braun for threat, and then Throg and Hulk for tanking hits, and then Wasp for damage, and then money. So, that's kind of standard. Now, because he's flipping a lot, we got some surprise attacks. We've got Audacity to uh, go in there. We've got Hand Cannon for minions and overkill. And then if we don't have any minions that are great targets for this hand cannon, the Diamond's Edge flips into Alter Ego, alter ego frequently equals not Nelson's character. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Fusillade to um, activate the hand cannon basically without discarding it. We've got Dropkick just to make sure that we are maintaining that stun lock on the villain. We're going to be activating through Miles' ability, but also with Dropkick. We've got Martial Prowess, more economy, and then we've got Press the Advantage. So this is deal 2 damage to an enemy. If that enemy is stunned or confused, draw a card. So it kind of pays for itself. And that, so I expect Sandman to be confused and or stunned fairly frequently. So I plan to activate Press the Advantage uh, pretty consistently. So... That's what we're doing. I have not played Sandman. We're going to read through Sandman here real quick. So, and y'all are going to have to help me make sure that I get everything, all the activations, because it does look like there are a couple of, there, there are, it, it's, it's not super standard. So I like to pick villains where I go against, um, fairly standard in these hero spotlights. So we can kind of get a feel exactly how the hero plays. Sandman, I think, is still a good contender for that. There's just a little bit of extra stuff, mainly with this environment. And so we'll we'll read into that here in a second. But it's a lot of damage. A lot of little ping damage. So we'll see how it goes. I cannot wait to play this campaign. Oh my gosh. It looks so much fun. <laughs> so Miles has a special ability on his alter ego side that says after you change this form shuffle one spider-man card from your discard pile into your deck so that's good we'll go ahead and shuffle this as we're reading sandman so sandman starting out again we're playing standard this is a one two villain and he has sandblast which is a force interrupt that says whenever he attacks then it deals indirect damage meaning that we can assign the damage however we see fit across uh, our allies or our hero and then uh, if your identity takes any amount of damage, we have to resolve the Surging Sands ability on City Streets, which is the environment. City, our Surging Sands says you place one sand counter here and then discard cards from the top of the encounter deck equal to the number of counters here. Okay. So we're milling our encounter deck, which is not a good thing. And then exhaust the character you control and remove sand counters from here equal to that character's attack. So that's a way to mitigate it. Limit once per round per player, which it, I find kind of interesting because there's not really a there's not a scaling for a number of players. So interesting. I guess the no, higher number of players you're going through the deck faster anyway. So I guess that makes sense. Um, <laughs> in London we call Miles by another name, Kilometers. Yep. Okay. So Miles or Kilometers Morales is is taken on Sandman today. Okay, so the setup for uh, the main scheme is searching encounter deck for the city streets environment, put it into play with four sand counters. So, buy the same token, give me some sand counters. I will buy them from you. Put some sand counters up here. This comes in. 
This is a forced response. After an acceleration token is placed on this scheme, deal three indirect damage to the first player. So we don't like that. We don't like that at all. That starts with two. Sandman starts with 16. In his second form, he has 18. So it's a total of 32 damage that we have to deal. No, that's not how math works. 34 damage. That we have to deal to him. And I assume... Okay, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. But on his second phase, we resolve this ability. Okay. Let's see how it goes. We get six cards. One, two, four, six. We've got Hand Cannon and Fusilade. Fusilade, I like saying that. Swing in, remove four throat from the scheme. If you paid for this card using a physical resource, resolve Spider-Man's spider camouflage ability, which is awesome. We've got a drop kick and press the advantage. Hmm, okay. So we cannot pay for all of these. This this also threats out at nine, so we have to be careful there. That can that can get pretty crazy pretty quickly, I think. So we have to we have to just kind of be careful there. Um I do wanna I wanna hold on to hand cannon. I think getting hand cannon in is gonna be good. I actually have no idea what the minions look like. I'm gonna actually just take a look for that. We got common criminals. We're running just what they told us to set up. We got sand clones. Oh yeah, we got rhino. That's not great. Um Okay. Yep, so there, there is. The problem with press the advantage is that you're in Wakanda now. <laughs> you're not in Wakanda now. <laughs> yep, that is true. Um, I do love the artwork, though. It's so cool. Okay. Hmm. I don't think that we are going to be able to confuse... Eh, well, we could. I mean, we could do this. Press the advantage. That draws a card. But it's just hard. It's just, I can't get hand cannon down. But I think what we'll do is we'll toss Fusilade and Brawn, and we will toss Dropkick. And we're gonna try and get all of these with our mulligan. So what do we got? got a Wasp, okay, that's kind of interesting. We only got one counter. There we go, there's a Strength, okay. And a Power Regression, sweet, perfect. I like that. Big fan of that. Um, actually, I'm not going to probably play Swing In. What we're going to do is we're going to throw Wasp onto the table. Sweet. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So, sorry, we'll flip up to Miles, or Spider-Man. He's a 2-2-2. Two, 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 and we are going to start by tossing a Strength to put a Hand Cannon onto the table. So, this comes in with three ch charge counters. And... We can remove a charge counter to give ourselves plus two attack for an attack and gain overkill. Awesome. We're going to toss a swing in and a power of aggression to put Wasp onto the table with three counters, with three pimp counters. So she has three health. We will go ahead and exhaust Wasp to activate the city streets ability to take this down to one. And We will damage. Okay. Yeah, we will hmm. I'm trying to think if we attack or if we thwart. I think we're going to attack. We'll just hit him for two. So we the enemy's gate is down. We gotta kill him. We'll toss press the advantage. And we will ready up. We got a web shot, uh, Fusilot, like seeing that power within, Hulk, two, four, and we got one more energy. Okay, nice, okay. Oh my gosh, okay, so I think I like Spider-Man already. I think I like Spider-Man already. So we're gonna start out, we're gonna place one here on the main scheme, and then Sandblast is going to come in. We're going to go ahead and just take three damage from it, or two, or it's gonna be two plus a boost card. So two plus three, okay, so five damage. 
it is indirect. We're at least going to take three. So we're going to go down to six. We're going to take one more going down to five. And we'll put one damage on Wasp. We have to resolve the Surging Sand. So we place one sand counter here and then we mill two cards, which is assault. Beautiful. Actually, I love seeing that. I love milling the assault. <laughs> yeah. And then where our bad card is Rhino. Goodness gracious. No, not a good start, y'all. Not a good start. This is bad. This is real bad. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Rhino comes in. He is steady. So he requires two status cards. And then he has overkill and piercing and three attack. Well, cool. That's nice. I would have rather drawn the assault. So, but I think I think we actually we have some op we have some options here. So we are going to spend an energy to play web shot. So deal four damage to an enemy. So we're gonna hit Rhino, and then if I paid for this card using a energy resource, I did. We resolve Venom Blast. Um, so I'm gonna deal two damage to Sandman. And stun Sandman. We will attack Rhino for three using Wasp, which puts him at one health left. And then we will attack with Spider Man. Exhausting hand cannon and removing one counter. So we're attacking for four with overkill. So three rolls over to sin Rhino, you know, I used to be the main villain, but I'm here because I need to buff my CV. <laughs> yeah. It's uh yeah, we're just we're just taking any work that comes our way now. We are going to Ooh, actually throwing Hulk onto the table is gonna be pretty nice. So we're gonna to toss a fusillade and a Hulk, and Hulk is not gonna be doing anything except for taking indirect damage for us. So Okay, we will ready. At some point I need to go heal myself, but we'll see. So an acrobatics, so deal two damage to an enemy, and then if it's stunned or whatever, it deals more. Double life, here we go. Okay, so change your form if you paid for this card using a physical resource, ready your identity. Martial Prowess, like that. Chase them down. Okay. And then a Web Shooter. Great. So Web Shooters are awesome in this kit because it generates wild. And Miles does have a lot of cards that require you to pay specific resources to activate their ability. So, good stuff there. So we're going to start out. We're going to place one here. Sandman's going to attack, but he is stunned. And then we'll draw a card. Which is a common criminal, so it surges into searching encounter deck. Discard pile set aside for your obligation. And then reveal it. If you change to Alter Ego, then we have to discard a card from random. So discard Genki Lee and Jefferson Davis from play, which I'm going to choose that option. Neither of them are on the table, so this card can search. Which is advanced. So the villain schemes. So it's scheming for one plus two. So three. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to... I need to figure my life out over here. So that's a seven. Okay. Yee. Okay, I, I didn't yeah, I need to I need to figure that out. Okay, so we're going to I'm going to flip down to Alter Ego form. So whenever we do that, we get to shuffle a... A Spider-Man card into our deck. So we're going to shuffle Swing In. Ah, uh, yes. Loose Ends. The Villain's Tutor for your obligation. Yeah, gosh. That's so frustrating. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I like it. But especially... Yeah. I mean, this one, it just surged. So it was fine. But yeah. we're going to heal for four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, taking us back up to full health. Then we will toss a chase them down for a web shooter. Ooh. Special tokens. We will marsh toss a martial prowess to play double life. So change your form. 
If you pay for this card using a physical resource, ready your identity. So we'll flip up to Spider-Man. We get we did pay for it with a physical, so we get to ready. Oh, ooh, actually. Yep. Nope. Um. Yeah, no, nope, that's the right thing to do. I, I, I should have figured out how to get rid of Common Criminal while I was down there, but I don't think I could have, because I'd rather make sure I get the ready than draw the card. Do you need to draw another encounter card? Because that had surged too. So Common Criminal surged into Loose Ends, which grabbed Keeping Secrets, which surged into Advance. So... I think I think I did that correctly. Um Okay, we will thwart two off of here. I don't like how high that's getting. Um we'll toss that. Oh, this is a banger. Okay. Wasp will go ahead and hit. Now we're going to keep Common Criminal around. We're going to hit Sandman for three. Taking him down. That kills Wasp. Okay. We'll draw up. We're ready. Web Shot. Okay. And Audacity. Okay. Surprise Attack. Hand Cannon again. And a power of aggression. Cool. Alrighty, so starting out, we're going to place one here. So we're at six out of nine. Don't like that at all. We've already drawn one of Vance, so I think we're. There's only one more in there. Yeah, so. Hopefully that's not too bad. Sandman is going to attack for two plus a boost card. We will. Just see how it goes. So two plus one is three. Deals indirect damage, so we're going to throw three onto Hulk. Common Criminal is going to attack. I'll take one damage. Uh, yes, Hand Cannon. Miles must have found it in his Uncle Aaron's basement. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine just Spider-Man swinging around and then just, like, pulling out and just, <laughs> just taking shots with a Hand Cannon? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. That's, that's really funny. Okay. Um, so I took the damage. We'll reveal now or never. So peril. When revealed, place one acceleration token on the main scheme or exhaust a character you control and spend one resource of any type. So we will exhaust Hulk and spend this. Okay. Now... Now, here we go. Okay, so we're going to toss a surprise attack and an audacity. So whenever I pay with audacity, I get to deal with damage to the villain to play web shot. So deal four damage to an enemy. So one, two, three, four. And then if I paid for this using a lightning resource, which I did, I used a wild, I get to resolve Spider-Man's Venom Blast ability, which is deal two damage. So boom, two damage to Sandman. We'll take him off and stun Sandman. When revealed, resolve the Surging Sands ability on City Streets. So that goes here, and then we mill three cards. Okay. And he comes in with 18. We will toss a power of aggression to put a second hand cannon. So now we're dual wielding. And I feel like I have I have to thwart two here. So we'll deal with we'll deal with it later. So we're ready. We'll draw up to five. There's another web shooter. Chase them down. Jefferson Davis. Throg, okay, interesting, and Arachnobatics. I'm never going to be able to say that correctly. 
But, okay, so we're going to place one here on the main scheme. Sandman is going to attack, but he is stunned. Then Common Criminal is going to attack. I will take that just one damage. And then we've got Calling in Favors. When revealed, Rhino schemes with plus two scheme. If Rhino is not in play, search the encounter deck and discard it off a Rhino minion and put him into play engage. Of course. Of course. I like, I, I like the encounter set, though. I think it's kind of fun, right? Like, just Rhino coming back and it's not... It, I mean, it's a tough character. He's a tough one. So... Okay, so Okay, so he's at 18 calling in favors not to be confused with the Arkham card of the same. Oh, is there really I don't even yeah that, It's crazy how much crossover there is in between these games. Okay, we'll toss an Arachnobatics to put another web shooter onto the table. We will... Two, four, six. Nah. Stupid Rhino. We will attack the common criminal we're going to exhaust two hand cannons and deal two four six damage to the common criminal so three will roll over to sandman so he's down to 15 we're going to play a response to play chase them down so after your hero attacks and defeats an enemy remove two threat from his scheme that's down to three and then we will Exhaust this web shooter. Remove a counter to play Throg. So after Throg enters play, he is piercing too. Come on. Um, we give Throg a tough status card because we are engaged with a minion. I am going to go ahead and exhaust Hulk to remove three from here. And then, at 15. Hey, a Rhino, it's Salmon. I want you to do something with me. Yeah, I'm using a payphone. What? <laughs> could you? Uh, it'd be really cool if you could just uh, hang over. Come. Could you just come help me real quick? We'll go ahead and hit, knock the tough off, and hit Rhino for two. Okay, we'll ready up. We'll draw, press the advantage. Double life. Nice, okay. Genki. Surprise attack. Ooh, double life and surprise attack combo. Let's go. And another press the advantage. We don't have any way to confuse or stun, so. But it'll be fine. Okay, so starting out, we'll place one here. Sandman will attack for three plus a boost card. So six. Oh my gosh, okay. Um. So two, four, five, six. Wait, why you discarded Tough after you attacked Rhino? So I took a consequential damage, and Tough says that the next time I would take any amount of damage, you remove Tough instead. And so instead of Throg taking a damage, I remove Tough. Um, the reason I did that is because um, this is dealing. They're both dealing, or this is dealing indirect, and this is piercing. So it would have discarded the tough before he even attacked. And then indirect would just knock off one. And so I, I figured it just might as well just get it an attack because I knew he was dying this turn. And then Rhino hits me for three. Well, that's fun. Nope, not, not the villain. So I am down to two health. My bad card is... Tasha Sandman, when you would deal any amount of damage to the Sandman, discard sand form instead. Resolve the Surging Sand ability on city streets. Okay. Okay, so we are going to... Yeah. We're going to flip over to Miles. Whenever we do that, we get to shuffle in a... attack, which I think is going to be web shot. 
or I'm sorry, shuffle in a spider man specific card, which I think is going to be web shot. So we'll shuffle that into our very small deck, but we need to deal some damage real quick. I think I need to kill Rhino, but we'll exhaust the heal for four. So that goes up, I go up to six. I'm going to toss a Genki to play double life. So change your form, which I'm going to flip back up. And then if I changed, I used a wild resource, so I get to ready. Now I'm going to exhaust web shot to play surprise attack. So after you change hero form, deal three damage to an enemy, four damage instead if you pay for this card using a physical resource. And so I will deal four damage here. Then I will attack with this hand cannon to deal four damage to Rhino. Two rolls over to Sandman. And which instead discards this card. And we get to resolve the city streets ability. So we add one and mill one. Ooh, okay. We have nothing that we can use. Oh, wait, no, we can use Press the Advantage. We just don't get to draw the card. So, yeah, so I guess we'll... We'll toss a Press the Advantage to play a Press the Advantage to deal two damage to Sandman. Okay. I think I could probably could have done that better. I think... I could have pressed the advantage on Sandman first and then overkilled with four with the hand cannon, but whatever. So we're ready. We'll draw. We got crew quarters. It's a little late for that. Web shot. Cool. Swing in. Okay. Drop kick. And a genius. Okay. All right. So starting out, we're going to place this one on here, pressing the advantage by playing passive. Yeah. <laughs> um, to go there, Sandman's going to attack for three plus a boost card, which is one, so it's four. So I take four damage. And we're going to up this and mill two. So buy Sand Clone and buy that obligation. Then my bad card is going to be Gang Up. I think that's game. Unfortunately... I guess we'll have to defend here. So it's going to be three plus one. Oh, oops. I took it off the villain instead of me. But he attacked for three plus one. So that was four. I was at six. Yeah, so that's game. Bummer. Okay. Well, same thing can do a lot of damage real quickly. So that, that is something to think about. Been lurking eating dinner, but Sandman looks neat. He is very, very interesting. Um, he can do a lot of damage really quickly. He has a. I, I also just drew like a bunch of boost cards. Um, I think if I didn't draw this, then we had two, four, six, ten. Yeah, so we had victory on our hand if we didn't draw a gang up or like a uh, assault. So. That, that is good to know. That is good to think about. I mean, you can't win them all, but that is Spider-Man Aggression. So I did say that we were going to save Justice for last. I'm going to go ahead and run Justice. He, uh, he can't gang up because he has no one to help him form a gang. That is true. Yeah. He, are, he called in Rhino, and Rhino didn't even show up. I don't know what he's asking for, but but we, we are going to go ahead and run Justice because Justice, I'm running the new shield archetype, and... I am afraid that if we save that for the very end, my brain is going to be absolutely fried. And I'd rather be able to think about it while like, while playing. So we are going to uh, go to the Be Right Back screen. I'm going to set up Justice so we can play that. And see you all here right in a second. If I can click on the right buttons. There we go.